word I'm going to say to you will give expression in your life in 2022. He said, I should say to you, it is your year of supernatural blessings. He gave me 1 Kings chapter 13 verse 14 and Genesis 26. And he said, look at what I did for Isaac. It was supernatural blessing. Isaac sold in a dry land. Listen to me in this 2022. You are not going to listen to news what people are saying. Rather, God will multiply you, bless you. Everybody shall say it. He said, I should say to you, in this year, you will see my wonders in your life. And he took me to Exodus. In fact, he spoke so much to me in Exodus. And they saw God's wonders. Water came from the rock. Somebody say wonder. wonder. That is what supernatural blessing. The word blessing here is encompassing. Water that came out for 2.5 million people to drink. So shall it be in your life this year. That thing that looked like a rock, water will flow out of it. He says, number three, it is the year my presence will make way for you in all areas. And he took me to Exodus again. He said, my presence was a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. And he says, it never departed from them. I speak prophetically to you, his presence will not depart from you this year. Amen. Number four, it is the year of manifesting my power through you. Somebody say amen. Amen. He took me to Jeremiah chapter 51 from verse 20. He said, you will become my battle axe. He said, with you, I will break in pieces. I will break in pieces. This is the year you will move hand, wonders will happen. You will lay hand, sickness will disappear. You will give a command, demons will disappear. The supernatural life of God will be made manifest in your life. Receive that oil right now. He said, I should say to you, welcome to the year of supernatural provisions. Supernatural provisions. He gave me scriptures in 1 Kings chapter 17, 10 to 16, and John chapter 6, 10. To 13 and he took five loaves with two fishes and 5,000 were fed and they gathered to 12 baskets. It's as we said to you this year, literally your hand shall become multitude. Can I hear somebody shout out his Number five. Number six, he says, I should say to you, welcome to the year of uncommon blessings. Yeah. Someone say uncommon blessings. Oh, How do you explain the lepers? Lepers rejected people that nobody wants to deal with. What happened to them? Uncommon what? Blessings, uncommon blessings, uncommon blessings that changed their status and brought them to the palace. This will be your story this year. Yeah. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon blessings, uncommon blessings. Can I hear somebody say uncommon? 
Number seven, he says, I will make water to flow out of the rock for you. And he gave me Second Kings chapter 3, verse 17. Water to flow out of the rock. In other words, things that we are hard, something soft, out of darkness, light will just show up for you. Yeah. Number eight, these are teachings. My supernatural power will restore to you all you lost in 2021. If I hear you say amen. He gave me Joel chapter 2, 25 to 27, where he said, I will restore the year the canker one had eaten. Number nine, welcome to the year of divine speed by my power. Somebody said divine speed. You know, he said to David, Pursue, overtake, and do what? Recover. Hey, I prophesy. Within the first four months of the year, recover all you lost. Number 10, welcome to the year of supernatural multiplications. He gave me Ezekiel 36, 11, where he said, I will multiply you and I will increase you. I will do you better than their former times. Can somebody shout amen? amen. Number 11, welcome to the year of supernatural breakthroughs. He gave me Isaiah 54 verse 3 where you say you shall break forth on the left and you shall break forth on the right. Can I hear somebody shout it loud? Amen. Amen. In 12 he said, all I need you do is to obey and follow me. Somebody say, I will. I will. In John chapter 10, 27, 28 he says, my sheep hear my voice and they do what? And they follow me. He said, all he needs you to do this year, just follow. Just obey. Because he knows the year. Somebody say, I receive it. In 13, he says, I will lead you to your destiny. He gave me Isaiah 54, 1 to 3. He said, I will hold your hand and I will open the two leaf gates. It will not be closed, neither day nor night. And I will take you through the paths. I will make the crooked path straight for you. Can I hear somebody say, I receive it? And I will give you the treasures of darkness. I will give you hidden riches in secret places. Somebody say, I receive it. He says in 14, I require, he repeated, absolute obedience from you. And he gave me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. If you will diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord, you are God, to observe, to do all these things. He said, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiply, I will multiply you. I will make you the head and not the tail. When you get home this morning, look at Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. In 15, he says, this year, somebody said this year. He said, I will magnify you before your generation. That means I will make you bigger in your generation. I will make you bigger before your friends. That is what it means to magnify you. In other words, what God is going to do in 2022 will shock those who thought that God has forsaken you. Somebody said, I receive it. In 16, he said, I should say to you, your reproach has ended. He gave me Joshua chapter 5 verse 9. In 17, he says, your delay has expired. 
And he gave me Exodus chapter 12, 1 to 2. He said, this month shall be the beginning of month. And it shall be the beginning of a new year. God is recalculating and changing your calendar. The calendar of frustration has expired. The calendar of delay has expired. The calendar of stagnancy has expired. Whatever you say amen to, that is what is going to happen to you. In 18, he said to me, I should say to you, I will afflict all that afflicted you. And he gave me Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 20. In 19, he says, I will fight your battles. He gave me Isaiah 49, 24 to 25, where he says, shall the prayer of the mighty be delivered? He says, yes, it shall be delivered. I will contend with who? So ever. I will contend. And I will make them to drink their own blood. They will eat their own flesh. I will prove to them that I'm your God. Somebody say, I receive it. In 20, he said, I should say to you, I will avenge your case. Don't even make an attempt to avenge yourself. I will avenge your case. He gave me, he, he gave me Luke chapter 18, verse 7 to 8, 21. He says, in 21, I will give you double for all that troubled you in 2021. Double for your troubles. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Double for your troubles. Then he finally is saying in number 22, I will prove to all that I am your God. He gave me Isaiah 49, 26b. I will prove to all that I am your God. As I hold my staff, I stand on this altar and I decree to you today that these 22 blessings shall come to pass in your life. I decree divine health is your portion in 2022. I decree because you are hearing the sound of my voice that tragedy that happens in the first month of the year in your family you are exempted. I decree on this altar supernatural marriages for you this year. Supernatural babies for you this year. Supernatural opportunities for you this year. Supernatural openings for you this year. This year, you will experience the tangible presence of God. The door for your victory is open. As a priest, I stand on this altar. Whoever shall attempt, make attempt on your life shall perish because of you. This year, your life will be like naked electricity wire. <laughs> Whoever it touches by mistake is dead. <laughs> Whoever falls on it is dead. <laughs> the years 
of the enemy playing Jan Glover in your life is over. Yeah. On this altar, in this first hour of the year, I bless your life. Yeah. I bless your family. Yeah. I bless your home. Yeah. I bless your labor. Yeah. I bless your going out. Yeah. I bless your coming in. Yeah. Divine journey mercy shall be your portion. You will not fall for straying bullets. 22 will not swallow your blood. 2022 will not carry your cups. I will see you in the first hour of 2023. You will still remain a child of God. Amen. You will not backslide. Amen. You will front slide. Amen. You will go forward. Amen. You will increase. Amen. You will multiply. Amen. I speak by the Spirit of God. Whatever you are now will change before the month of April is over. It will change for better. Yeah. In the name of God the Father, yeah. God the Son, yeah. and God the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And somebody shouts Amen three times. Yeah. 